guys, it's Stephanie. Hi guys, this is Nisa now. Hey guys, it's Amba. Hey guys, it's Shamika. We've been dancing for so long under the stars. I feel that the grass will cut through my skin. All the pills we take have seemed to prolong our existence, but I don't feel alright. Hey guys, it's Shamika. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wasn't going to post for a very long time, for about two to three weeks, because of my exams and studies and stuff like that. But I got a collaboration text. So I am going to collaborate with not only one, not two, but three different YouTubers. Can you guys imagine? So Japneet is from Punjab, Sana is from Mumbai itself, and uh, Amba is from Dehradun. And they also make YouTube videos, and we kind of have similar vibing going on, and that's how I got their text. Actually, I'll tell you a long story short. So there's this Instagram page called Indian Teen YouTubers. I will link it in the, in the description below so that you guys can check it out. So that particular page makes those uh, videos and photo edits, okay? Photo collage, photo edits, and other stuff like that. Even one of my photo appeared on their Instagram page, and I was crying. I'll put a clip over here, and I was crying, and I posted on my close friends saying, "I am literally so grateful for this." I was literally overwhelmed with that particular video that the uh, Instagram page made. So that's how I got to know about these other YouTubers who also make videos like me and have the similar kind of vibe. So we all started speaking on personal chat, and then suddenly I just got a text from this group which had a Halloween context say uh, that Sana made, saying, "Oh my God, I guess we should all collaborate for Halloween." And we were all just brainstorming on how to, you know, how are we going to do it. So we all decided to give each other a Halloween look and a theme. So there were four themes all together. One was a 90s aesthetic. One was Bollywood, old Bollywood movies. Uh, one was a fairy tale aesthetic, and the fourth one was anime or anime, whatever you call it. I do not watch it. I'm sorry. We had to give one one theme and. Uh, Uh, look to one one person. I gave a look to Japneet and Amba gave me a theme and the look. So I will shortly insert her video also telling me about the look and stuff. Confusing. So indirectly we just all mixed up and gave each other one one theme and the look. Hey guys, if this is a face that you are seeing for the first time, then hi, I am Amba and I'm very very happy and excited to be here on Shamika's channel. Firstly, because the overall vibe of our channel is just so aesthetic, and Shamika as a person also is very cool and just she's a great person, you know. I'm pretty sure that Shamika has already briefed you guys on this Halloween collab that we are having, so you guys already know why I am here. Anywho, I'm just gonna jump right into the outfit. So the theme that Chamika got was fairy tale. The dress that I chose for her was the one that I thought would fit her quite well, which is Belle. And the outfit that I chose for Belle is the iconic one. So the task for Chamika was that I sent her a bunch of makeup looks, and um, her task was to recreate one of those. So I am very very excited to see how Chamika recreates this outfit, and I am pretty sure that you guys are too. I want just keep on watching her video because she is really cool and you're gonna really enjoy this video. Um, if you want to go check their video out, I will also link their videos in the description below so that you guys can go and see how they have dressed up. And I was very excited because I gave a very very nice theme to Jabneet, so go check that out. I had yellow dresses and stuff with me, but I wanted to do something different. That's why I decided to actually go with a DIY costume because I wanted it to look a little. Extra and cute. Went to the nearest store and bought some fake diamonds, yellow flowers, you yellow and white ribbons, and, and crepe paper. paper. Started off with making the skirt with my mom's help. Folded the paper from one side and then another, like a paper fan method, and then stuck all the papers side to side. And then with a the ribbon from the top, I attached them. For the top, I just took a black tube top, cut strips of the yellow ribbon, and stitched one after the other. Same for the hands; you'll see it at the end. Now, as you know, I have to recreate my like, makeup, so I'm pretty excited for that. Let's first get started with some BB and CC cream. I am not actually a big makeup fan, and I don't know how to use these brushes and everything. This is all my mom's, by the way. This look, and I'm gonna add some pearls with it.
I didn't know I this outfit would turn out like this. Great. 